video was made possible by EA Game Changers. <laughs> Welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger and a special thanks to EA Fire Monkeys for providing me with early access to the latest update which is going to run from the 12th of December to the 24th 2018 and we get to celebrate the holiday season in style with a gorgeous farmhouse, an adorable pet pug and much more. We get to take part in the Missing Claws seasonal quest to unlock a breathtaking country estate that you see here and the ability to build A-frame roofing, discover the prettiest items for Santa's rustic farmhouse, including, yes, <laughs> furniture, flower beds, a chicken coop and an outdoor beautiful banqueting area. Don't forget to look down below in the description for this video for links to the full tour for this farmhouse and the prizes that we win. Now do remember that for the duration of the 13 days you get to come back every day to start the next day's quest. But in this video we're going to go right through to the end and see everything that we want to see in this beautiful farmhouse. Let's get started. It's December in Simtown and your sim feels a slight twinge. Something's not quite right, but your sim cannot put their finger on exactly what. Perhaps checking a calendar might give them a clue. Have your sim check the calendar date at a computer. Let's get started. There's a computer ready for us and it's going to take us 8 minutes to check this calendar. Done. Your sim checks the calendar. It's December. December is snow, threats of coal, and naughty versus nice, emotional blackmailing. <laughs> the lack of Christmas spirit is concerning. Better alerts in sims. Have your sim discuss Christmas with four sims. I think eight sims will do it so that four discussions can be held at once. It's two hours and 15 minutes for one discussion. <laughs> Oh, that's a long chat. Your sims discuss the lack of Christmas spirit. Nobody feels like giving, spend all day cooking or pulling boxes of Christmas decorations out of storage. What's going on? Is this the end of days? Have four pairs of sims panic about Christmas. Right, so those eight sims would do a great job right now, wouldn't they? <laughs> four pairs. Now, do remember that if you use a sim that was born from a nine day pregnancy, uh, their timing would be a lot shorter than a regular um, sim in your town. Now, your sims panic until they realize it never achieves anything. One solution is to generate Christmas spirit. Have your sims buy and place five Christmas decorations from the feature tab in the home store. So we're going to place five decorations down in the house. I think what I'll do is just take off these doors and set down the Christmassy ones with the mistletoe. One, two, let's get rid of those, three, four, and we're going to change some windows as well. That will bring us up to six. So this is the fifth one. <laughs> I'll put the other one down later. Your sim places Christmas decorations. That feels more Christmassy. But what is Christmas without snow? Surely snow will be the tipping point to generating Christmas spirit. Is there anything your sim can do? At a computer, have your sim research seasonal snowfall in Sim Town. Okay, so let me just place one more window before we embark on the next task of researching snowfall in Sim Town for 12 minutes. Task complete. Your sim trolls articles on December snowfall in Simtown. Many suggest that Christmas snow is actually handled by Santa himself. If so, why is Santa off his game? Fortunately, there's a direct line to Santa, the Ho Ho Hotline. On a phone, have your sim call the Ho Ho Hotline. <laughs> Quite like that. <laughs> right, let's see how long is that. So it's 32 minutes to call the Ho Ho Hotline. Task complete. Your sim calls the Ho Ho hotline. The number is disconnected. When magic fails, science is the answer. Some sims should be able to find the meteorologist. Have five sims search the weather expert almanac from a bookshelf. It's important to have the maximum number of sims perform these actions so you can finish in time. It's two hours and 20 minutes to read the weather expert almanac. Your sim flips through the pages and finds a number for Cirrus, the sim town meteorologist. Surely he will have a solution. Have your sim phone Cirrus. A phone call to Cirrus would take 3 hours and 20 minutes. 
Congratulations, you've completed the first set of goals in the Missing Claws Christmas Quest and received a beautiful round mirror. So that completes day number one. Uh, now we're going to move on to day number two. That task is complete. Your sim gets through to Cirrus. He confirms that it is Santa who manages the snowfall via a weather machine, but Santa's not answering his calls. The deeply concerned Cirrus says that he will meet your sim in the park with his backup weather device. Have your sim greet Cirrus in the park. What happened to Christmas? There's no Christmas spirit. Time to panic. Read an almanac. All hope rests with Cirrus. Hmm. I don't get the rhyme. <laughs> anyway, here's Cirrus. Let's greet him for just the one minute. That task is complete. Your sim greets Cirrus. The machine is set up and ready to snow. He asks your sim to perform the honors. Your sim breathes a sigh of relief. Here comes Christmas. Have your sim turn on the weather device for 18 seconds. That's nice. I like the short tasks. <laughs> Your sim flips the switch on the weather device. Immediately snow starts falling from the sky. Now it feels like Christmas. What better way to celebrate than have a snowball fight? Have some sims have four snowball fights. That would require eight sims to snowball fight at the same time for two hours and 15 minutes. Snowballs are supposed to be quite painful. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, snowball fights, that icy sting, exactly, and black and blue bruising sure feels more like Christmas. With snow falling, there is enough to build a snowman. Have your sim build a snowman at the X on a front lawn. Where's the X? There it is. Okay, build snowman for 30 minutes. Doesn't seem like he got very far. Your sim completes the snowman. Upon slotting in the carrot nose, it springs to life. Why am I here? He questions. Your sim is not sure what is more surprising, an animated snowman or his bad mood. What could be the problem? Have your sim speak to the snowman. For he was over here and now he's here. <laughs> speak to him for 15 minutes. That's a cute snowman. Your sim speaks with the grumpy snowman. Mr. Flurry says that Santa hadn't booked him in for Christmas this year, so he was enjoying a frosty getaway until this rude interruption. No Christmas snow, no snowman bookings, and a disconnected hotline. What has happened to Santa? This is going to require deeper investigation. Using a phone, have your sim call dial a detective. <laughs> okay, let's dial a detective for eight minutes. Your sim calls Dial a Detective and is put through to Les Clues. After explaining the Santa situation, Les says he'll meet your sim in the park. Have your sim greet Les Clues in the park. Greet Les Clues <laughs> for 25 minutes. He looks dapper. <laughs> Your sim greets Les, who immediately asks to be shown to the scene of the crime. Whoa, this isn't an episode of Simtown Criminal Investigations. This is a missing persons case. Have your sim explain to Les the Santa situation again? That will take 20 minutes. Your sim explains to Les that Santa is missing and there is no chalk outline. We need to go dark, deep cover, says Les. Let's reckon the North Pole with a telescope. Okay, have your sim use the telescope to scan for Santa for 10 minutes. Task complete. Your sim looks through Les's telescope and can't see the North Pole. It needs more lenses. Have up to eight sims search objects in a house to look for missing lenses. Note, quick complete the action to find extra lenses. So basically, if you complete with LP, then you have a better chance of finding a lot more lenses. <laughs> we need 12 lenses at 5 hours per search. Your sim collects several lenses. Surely the combined magnification of the lenses will be able to scan far enough now. Have your sim look through Les's telescope in the park with the new lenses and try to scan for Santa again for 10 minutes. Your sim adjusts the telescope's focus. Wait, what is that? Something flew erratically towards Simtown and crashed in the park. Have your sim check the crashed sleigh for clues. <laughs> With less clues. <laughs> That'll take us 
an hour, 15 minutes to search for clues? You would have completed the second day and would win the rustic walls and floors pack. <laughs> now that task is complete, day number three, your sim finds no trace of a pilot, but a single harness is surefire evidence that only one reindeer was present. Some hoof prints lead the way from the sleigh. Have your sim investigate the tracks in the park. With snow falling, snowball fights are calling. A cranky snowman lays clues plan. A crash sleigh will need overhauling. So we need to investigate these tracks in the park for 10 minutes. Those tracks are solid. <laughs> Your sim follows the tracks. Ahead they see a red glow, a reindeer's nose. Rudolph? Maybe he can help with the missing Santa Claus. Have your sim talk to Rudolph. For 30 minutes. Talking to a reindeer is not easy. However, at the mention of Santa, Rudolph's eyes and nose light up. He indicates that he wants your sim to climb onto his back. Wherever your sim is going, this will be one uncomfortable ride. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's workshop. Holding tight to Rudolph's antlers, the reindeer soars into the sky, taking your sim to Santa's workshop. Rudolph says he'll be available to take your sim anywhere they need to go. The workshop is empty. The workshop should be operating at peak capacity. Have your sim check to see if the present machine was recently used. Let's check for an hour and 15 minutes. Your sim checks the present machine and it's stone cold. What on earth has happened? Have your sim search the workshop for clues to Santa's whereabouts. Location search for 2 hours and 30 minutes. Your sim inspects the workstation and finds a letter. It reads, due to personal reasons, I will not be in for the foreseeable future. Regards, Santa. Why? Next clue. 2 hours and 30 minutes. Your sim inspects the Christmas tree and finds a list of medical items for colds and fevers. <clears throat> Next clue. Your sim inspects the fireplace and finds a confirmation letter for a medical appointment. It is addressed to Mrs. Claus along with an address to a farmhouse. Let's search the letterbox. Your sim inspects the ever-growing letter pile. They find an electricity bill, bill is address, Santa's farmhouse. It's two months overdue. Your sim discovers a number of clues that seem to point to a sick Mrs. Claus and Santa's farmhouse. Can Rudolph take you there? Have your sim talk to Rudolph. Talk for an hour, 35 minutes. Can you take me to Santa's farmhouse, asks your desperate sim. Rudolph nods and motions to your sim to climb onto his back. Here we go again, another bumpy ride. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's farmhouse. Let's ride. Your sim rides Rudolph to a quiet little farmhouse. The house is locked, but there is an elf in the backyard. Have your sim talk to the elf. Two hours and ten minutes. Your sim talks to a clearly suspicious elf. Name's Frank. Who are you? Are you a civilian? How did you get here? Your sim explains that they are concerned that Christmas is way behind schedule and they need to speak to Santa. Have your sim ask Frank for the key to Santa's house. Ask the key for 5 hours and 15 minutes. Yay! You've completed the third day and you would have won the Hydrangea Hedge Pack. They're quite beautiful, those flowers, aren't they? Moving on. Your sim waits patiently for Frank to calm down and again asks Frank for the key. Maybe it is going to take one of you civilians to get through to the boss. Frank says, here's the key. Have your sim collect the key from Frank. Reindeer tracks glow in the dark, lead to a workshop lacking in spark. Discovering clues, an elf with the blues, this quest is no walk in the park. <laughs> Let's collect keys for five minutes. Frank hands your sim several keys. Well, at least your sim can now get into the farmhouse. Have your sim unlock the door. Five minutes to unlock the door. After working through all of your keys, your sim finally has access to Santa's inner sanctum. Time to find out what's going on. Have your sim introduce themselves to Santa for 30 minutes. And there she is. Aww. 
A somber Santa explains to you, Sim, that Mrs. Claus has been struck down with a terrible fever. She has been bedridden for weeks and needs constant care. Well, that explains why Christmas is behind schedule. Do you have any ideas? Asks the desperate Santa. Now's the time to apply the first aid course. Have your Sim check on Mrs. Claus upstairs. For two hours and ten minutes. Your Sim checks on Mrs. Claus. She looks feverish and terribly cold. Is the farmhouse warm enough? Have your Sim check the fireplace to make sure it's producing enough heat. There it is. Check temperature for four minutes. We're at the back of that, aren't we? Your Sim checks the fireplace, which is losing heat. After some tweaks, the temperature is fixed. Now to complete the one-two punch to Mrs. Claus's fever soup. Surely someone has a cookbook with a recipe to cure a fever. Have five Sims look for a cure from a bookshelf. Look for a cure for two hours. Your Sims search and manage to find the Freezer Fever cookbook. They find Amaryllis Apocalypse, a promising recipe designed to destroy fevers and flus. The key ingredient is onions. At a garden patch, have your Sims grow 10 lots of onions. <laughs> oh dear, they'll be weeping, won't they? Well, that's if you chop them. So obviously you need to get 10 Sims doing this at once. Uh, and it should take as long as 7 hours uh, for it to all be done. Your Sim has enough onions to make the soup. Now to cook it. Have your Sim cook the soup at a stove. For 12 minutes. That's not long. That's good. Oh yeah, the soup smells amazing. This is bound to cure Mrs. Claus. Have your Sim give Mrs. Claus the soup. For one hour. Mmm. Congratulations, you've completed the fourth day and you would have won the Rustic Doors Pack. That task is complete. Has the soup had any effect? Your Sim takes Mrs. Claus's temperature. Cold, now hot. No wonder Mrs. Claus can't shake her fluctuating fever. To get it down will require a nuclear level of chill, thinks your Sim. Suddenly, a blast of frozen air announces the arrival of an irate Ice Queen. Uh-oh, have your Sim talk to the Ice Queen. A sad Santa paces inside, refusing to leave Mrs. Claus aside. Cooking a marrowless apocalypse, the soup Mrs. Claus sips, is it enough to turn the fever's tide? Hmm, I don't know. Talk for 30 minutes. Why the frost was winter so late, demands an irate ice queen. It's December, not spring break. Your Sim needs to find a way to calm her down. She could very well be the solution to Mrs. Claus's high temperature. Maybe something impossibly cute like the pug that's been wandering around could work. Have your Sim introduce the pug to the ice queen. Where's that pug? Introduce her 2 hours and 15 minutes. Your Sim hands the pug to the ice queen. Aw, oh, aren't you just the cutest little thing with your wonky eyes and your adorable wheezing? The ice queen is besotted. Now is your Sim's chance to discuss Mrs. Claus's condition. Have your Sim discuss Mrs. Claus's condition with the ice queen. Discuss for an hour and 35 minutes. Your Sim discusses Mrs. Claus's fever with the Ice Queen. This requires my magic and a magical meal. I know a witch who turned her love of food into a career, says the Ice Queen. She has her own cooking show from a TV. Watch eight episodes of Wicked Dishes. So basically get eight Sims watching at the same time. And remember that if a Sim was born of a nine-day pregnancy, the timing will be a bit shorter than usual. Right. Your Sim watches Wicked Dishes on TV. Hang on, isn't that Barbara Yaga, the children's entertainer? She's a celebrity chef now. Your Sim wonders if party troopers still manage Barbara Yaga. On her phone, have your Sim call the party troopers. This call would last about an hour and 40 minutes. And you would have completed the fifth set of goals, winning the Wildflower Hedges Pack. Your Sim is put through to Barbara Yaga's manager at Party Troopers, Miles Green, and explains the situation. We'll send her straight over, says Miles. Check the teleporter in Santa's basement. Have your Sim check the basement of Santa's farmhouse. An ice queen irate, calmed by a pug with cute traits, a wicked dish required from a witch ever tired, a fever this meal must sate. Right, here we are in the basement, and there's the teleporter. That's quite cool. Looks mysterious. <laughs> right. Check for 10 minutes. 
Your sim locates Barbara Yager in the basement. True to character, Barbara has found the nearest object on which to nap. There has to be something in the house that will wake the weary witch. Have your sim locate the correct object to wake Barbara Yaga. Let's go with the bubbles. The bookshelf. Let's try and read loudly to wake her up for four minutes. That didn't work. She's still asleep. <laughs> Let's try turning up the volume while we watch TV for four minutes. No, still asleep. Okay, what next? Let's tap on the heater to wake her up. No, that didn't work either. Uh, let's create an aroma to wake Barbara up. It worked! Your sim now knows that food is Barbara's weakness and the sweet smell of cooking draws the sleepy witch from her den. With her wide awake, now's the time to question about a cure from Mrs. Claus. Have your sim talk to Barbara Yaga about Mrs. Claus's fever. That'll take 30 minutes to talk about this. Your sim talks to Barbara about Mrs. Claus's fever. The Ice Queen is correct. I can craft a magic meal with her powers, says Barbara. However, I need the hero ingredient, truffles. How can truffles be found? Have six sims ponder ways to find truffles on a couch. So let's get six sims on this for four hours and 30 minutes. After long and painful thought, your sim has it. Pigs are great at finding truffles. And this is a farm with a pig. Have your sim plead with the princess, the teacup pig, for help. That'll take 15 minutes. Your sim pleads with princess, the teacup pig, who snorts and says that she has stashed some truffles at a few locations on the farm. Have your sim find truffles on Santa's farm. So there's four of these truffles for 8 hours and 15 minutes. You need to find them all. That should be enough truffles for Barbara's magic meal. Have your sim give the truffles to Barbara. Give it to her for five minutes. Your sim gives the truffles to Barbara who says she can now make a potent meal combining truffle oil with the mystic ice of the ice queen. While Barbara is cooking, your sim has thought of the perfect present for Barbara, some speckled eggs from the chicken coop. Have your sim collect speckled eggs from the chicken coop. That will take 35 minutes. And your sim actually does pick out eggs from this coop. This is amazing. <laughs> the speckled eggs your sim collected are perfect. Barbara will be able to use them in a future meal. Have your sim give the speckled eggs to Barbara for 15 minutes. So you've completed the sixth set of goals and you get the picket fences pack, which is beautiful. Your sim hands over the speckled eggs and waits for Barbara and the Ice Queen to finish creating the hot and cold magical meal. Finally, it is ready. Barbara hands your sim the magic meal. This is it. The faith of Christmas rests on Barbara's mystical cuisine. Have your sim give the magical meal to Mrs. Claus. Barbara's help, mild secures. The smell of food, her secrets lure. Finding truffles unseen, add magic of Ice Queen creates the magic cure. Let's give her the magical meal for an hour and 15 minutes. Your sim gives the magical meal to Mrs. Claus. Her recovery is startling. The power of your sim's persistence, teamwork and magic is truly something. Now that Mrs. Claus is recovered, Santa will be able to fully focus on Christmas. What could the next steps be? Have your sim discuss the next steps with Santa for 15 minutes. Your sim informs Santa that Mrs. Claus is well again and asks for more information on what the next steps are to get Christmas back on track. He expresses his profound gratitude and says finding the missing elves and getting the workshop back in operation is the first step. Can Frank the elf help? Have your sim discuss missing elves with Frank. So there should be an elf wandering around. Let's see, there he is. Let's discuss missing elves for 2 hours and 15 minutes. Your sim attempts to speak to Frank. Santa wanted me to feed them chickens, but the way they look at me. Frank is clearly suffering from electrophobia, a fear of chickens. Have your sim feed four chickens at the farmhouse. Now, there are three chickens here, not four. So you're going to have to get through feeding three and then one more. And it takes eight hours and 14 minutes. Ah, uh, so let's see just one act of how the feeding takes place with this sim here. Look at that. 
I think it's fabulous. Oh dear. Okay, let's wrap up because we need to save Christmas, okay? We're done with that. Chickens fed, check. That should alleviate Frank's electrophobia and hopefully he can shed some light on the location of the other elves. Have your sim ask Frank about the missing elves. That will take 15 minutes. That's good. Your sim asks Frank if he knows the location of the other elves. Well, Kurt and Pat went to Simtown looking for Rudolph and the sleigh, he replies. Well, it's a start. Your sim instructs Frank to head back to Santa's workshop. Time to find Kurt. Have your sim ride Rudolph back to the park. Let's go. We're here. Your sim arrives in the park and spies a sleeping elf on a park bench. What? They're asleep? Have your sim try to wake the sleeping elf. For 5 hours and 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> that completes day number 7 and you would have earned the farmhouse laundry pack. Task complete. Kurt's eyes snap open. Gosh, I never sleep on the job. Well, except that time I was up all night playing. The boss is going to fire me for sure. Better let Kurt know that Rudolph has been found. Have your sim put Kurt's mind at ease. Calm down. Terrible fever. The soup did break. Mrs. Claus will no longer ache. A fear of chickens. Elf mystery thickens. Now a sleeping elf to shake. Ten minutes. Calm him down. Kurt is relieved. Rudolph has been found and is eager to go back to work at Santa's workshop. Your sim needs to ask him if he knows what happened to the other elves. Have your sim ask Kurt about the other missing elves. 10 minutes. Your sim asks about the location of the missing elves. We split up. Pat thought he'd caught a glimpse of red glow and went off to investigate, says Kurt. Have your sim look for evidence of Pat's presence in the park. Hint, make sure to check all of the exclamation icons. Right, there'll be a few dotted around. Ah, uh, there's one on the statue. 6 hours 15 minutes. Your sim finds traces of red fabric near the thinking man statue. The thinking man is one of Rudolph's inspirations. The next one is by the toilets. 6 hours and 15 minutes. Your sim finds a broken bell from an elven hat. Ahem. Looks like Pat needed a break. <laughs> oh dear. Where's the next one on the soapbox? 6 hours and 15 minutes. Your sim finds elf-like boot prints on the soapbox. Pat attempted to get some elevation looking for Rudolph. The barbecue. Again, 6 hours and 15 minutes. Your sim finds troughs of a pom-pom stuck in the barbecue. Pat checked here in case Rudolph was hungry. Your sim finds evidence that Pat exhausted all possibilities that Rudolph was in the park, then left to search further afield. Perhaps they went to a sim's house. Send your sim home. Your sim arrives home and finds a stressed looking elf. Pat, have your sim talk to Pat the elf. 10 minutes. Your sim talks to Pat. I can't find Rudolph. I've let Christmas slip. I'm failing in all my elf KPIs. Seems like Pat is one straw away from snapping. If your sim just releases the tension in Pat's trapeze, have your sim give Pat a shoulder massage. That's four hours and two minutes. Your sim's trigger point massage technique elicits a deep sigh of relief from Pat. Now they should get some clarity. Have your sim ask Pat if they know the whereabouts of the last elf. 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Not bad. Your sim asks Pat if he knows the whereabouts of the last elf. Dave's back at the workshop. That's it. All the elves have been located. Time to get Santa's workshop cracking. Send your sim to the park and ride Rudolph back to Santa's workshop. Your sim arrives at Santa's workshop and finds Dave, the elf in charge, looking deeply concerned. Have your sim talk to Dave about his concerns. 3 hours 15 minutes. You would have completed the 8th day and you would have gotten the cosy comfort pack, which is beautiful. 
Dave is deeply concerned about the pace of production. Yasim suggests a whole raft of production strategies. Dave sighs in relief. They will absolutely work. If Dave has concerns, Yasim should check in with the other elves as well. Have Yasim check in with Frank. Elf Kurt's mind is at ease. Clues to Pat lead beyond the park trees. Sore shoulders relieved, productivity unachieved. Can Dave devise new strategies? <laughs> Oh, one hour and 15 minutes. Your sim checks in with Frank, who says, my task list just keeps growing. The toy designs are becoming too complex. Sounds like a case of classic toy creep. Wonder if Kurt has a similar story. Have your sim check in with Kurt. One hour, 25 minutes. Kurt tells your sim a similar story. I'm getting a lot of toy defects and it's putting my production right behind. It's clear that the elves are struggling to stay on top of the workload. Have your sim check in with Pat. One hour, 35 minutes. Your sim checks in with Pat. Dave schedules too many meetings. It's putting us behind. The elves are working hard, but the signs of crunch are beginning to show. There has to be a way to speed up production without risking elf burnout. Have your sims talk to Dave about avoiding elf burnout. Come here, two hours, 35 minutes. Your sim expresses concerns about elf burnout and asks Dave if there's another way to speed up production. We could dial the present making machine up to 110%. Sounds like a plan. Have your sim turn the present making machine to 110% production for 5 hours and 15 minutes. Your sim dials up the present making machine for a moment. It looks like the plan is going to work, but only for a moment. Look, the present machine has burnt out. Does Dave have a backup backup plan? Have your sim speak to Dave about a backup backup plan <laughs> for one hour and 15 minutes. Your sim speaks to Dave about a backup backup plan. We can outsource the present shortfall. Here's a list of suppliers. You'll need to contact them on a computer. Have your sim place 10 outsourcing orders. So 10 sims at a time, but I'm obviously just gonna use the one and sort of burn through it. Your sim places the orders specifying the delivery address, Santa's Workshop, 1 North Pole. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's Workshop in preparation for the delivery. At this point, you would have completed day number 9 and received the wonderful rustic dining set. Okay, we're here. The outsourcing orders have arrived at Santa's workshop in your sim's absence. The elves repaired the present machine. Everything is coming together. Have your sims unpack the boxes from the outsourcing shipment at Santa's workshop. Elves at the point of burnout, a new plan to roll out. Orders online, will they arrive in time? Wait at the workshop, deliveries en route. Unpack boxes, four hours each, all four of them. You can get four sims doing this at the same time, so you complete within four hours. Okay. Thanks to your sims, the entire shipment of outsourced toys is unpacked in record time. That will take the pressure off the elves. Next task, finalize the naughty and nice breakdown. Have your sims sort out the letter pile into naughty and nice. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah, uh, five minutes. That's good. <laughs> Your sims sift through the mountain of letters, but new letters keep arriving. There has to be an easier way. As Chief Behaviour Officer, Mrs. Claus will know. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's farmhouse and ask Mrs. Claus about managing letters. Ride Rudolph. Ask about letters for five minutes. Your sim speaks to Mrs. Claus about how slow it is to sort the letters. It's just tradition, she laughs. Santa has a naughty and nice app that's heavily encrypted. Have 12 sims decrypt the naughty and nice app from a computer. So make sure you've got 12 sims working at once on this for, I think it's six hours for a regular sim because this is a sim that was born from a nine day pregnancy. I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> Your sims decrypt the naughty and nice app looks like naughty and nice are derived from a function that allocates cold merits based on a sims nice quotient. This is then fed into a proprietary formula that calculates the amount of presents and coal needed. Have your sims calculate the number of presents and coal needed for Christmas at a computer. 
Let's go. That'll take 7 hours and 36 seconds for her. So I'm assuming it's 8 hours for a regular sim. The computer spits out the final numbers for presents and call. Wow, those call numbers are not even close to the estimates. Dave is going to need the new numbers ASAP. Have your sim ride Rudolph back to Santa's workshop to give Dave the new numbers. <laughs> oh, your sim gives the call estimates to Dave. How are we going to make up the shortfall? Where does coal even come from? Your sim is used to digging up minerals. Have up to four sims dig for coal at the X marks around Santa's workshop. Quick complete for extra coal. We need 13 pieces of coal, so let's go. For a duration of five hours per X, you need to get as many as four sims around doing this. I've got three pieces of coal. Let's go again. And now I have six. And again. Now I have ten. I don't see any other X's around. <laughs> And again, and now I have 14, so I've exceeded. Okay, let's move on. Your sims work hard and dig up enough coal to meet the new Christmas quota. Better give the good news to Dave. Have your sim inform Dave that the revised coal quota has been met. She's happy. Five minutes. You would now have completed the 10th day and received the beautiful haul pack. Yay! Task complete. Numbers are spot on, says Dave. The big man will be happy. Phew, no more hard labor for your sim. With presents and coal sorted, it's time to see what the next steps are. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's farmhouse and talk to Mrs. Claus about the next steps. Presents were delivered as needed. Naughty and nice list exceeded. Coal hard to be found from underground. Production proceeds unimpeded. Mm hmm. Ten minutes about the next steps. Your sim tells Mrs. Claus that the workshop production is on track. Now it's time to clear the overgrowth around the farm so it's ready for Christmas Eve, she says. Have your sims clear the overgrowth around the farm. Ooh, 11 hours, and we've got four of those. Your sim clears the overgrowth. Finally, all the preparations for Christmas are complete. The Clauses will be thrilled to hear about the news. Have your sim tell Mrs. Claus that the farm is ready for Christmas. Two hours and 15 minutes. Your sim tells Mrs. Claus that the farm is all prepped for Christmas. Your sim deserves a break. Have your sim take a break on her couch in Santa's farmhouse. Oh, finally. Right here. Come on. Have a break for two hours and 10 minutes. Your sim feels better after a rest. Better check in with Santa and confirm his sleigh launch time. Have your sim ride Rudolph to Santa's workshop. And away we go. Your sim arrives at Santa's workshop. The whole place is running like a well-oiled machine. Your sim can't help but feel a twinge of pride. Only one small thing left to do. Have your sim confirm the launch time with Santa. For 4 hours and 15 minutes. You would have completed the 11th day and received the rustic lounge pack. Yay! Task complete. Your sim checks in with Santa. He's deeply grateful for your sim's hard work. And as a token of his gratitude, your sim will have the honor of shutting down the present machine for another year. A simple button press doesn't sound too hard. Have your sim turn off the present making machine. All the work is finally complete. A clean reindeer pen so neat. Everything is steady. What? The sleigh is not ready? Are Santa's launch plans now obsolete? Hey? Okay, turn off for 10 minutes. Oh, this is gonna go on forever. <laughs> oh, your sim turns off the present making machine with everything accounted for. Your sim should help Santa ground check the sleigh. Have your sim talk to Santa about the sleigh ground check. That'll take 30 minutes. Santa walks your sim through the sleigh ground check. Seems pretty straightforward. Have your sim check the sleigh. Well, it's not there. Two hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> oh dear. 
OMG, the sleigh is missing. This is less than ideal. Your sim manages to stay calm, but Santa, not so much. Have your sim calm Santa. For an hour and 15 minutes. In the sea of panic, your sim is like a calm cork. <laughs> the missing sleigh isn't missing. It crashed in the park when Rudolph took off to find help. That's a relief. Well, except for the crashed part. What state is the sleigh in? Have your sim ride Rudolph back to the park and check the sleigh. 45 minute check. Look at the smoke. <laughs> Your sim checks the sleigh. The frost capacitor is severely damaged. Parts broke away when the sleigh crashed. Your sim must find the pieces, but needs a way of charging the frost capacitor when they do. Have up to four sims search for nine missing sleigh parts in the park. So bring over four sims and get started. It'll take seven hours and 30 minutes. We found four parts here. Uh, eight hours, 30 minutes. Another four, that's eight parts. Seven hours, 30. Three parts, making 11 parts. Done. Your sim collects the missing frost capacitor parts. They have them all, but one. Who's good at finding things? Les. Detective Les Clues. From a phone, have your sim call Les Clues. <laughs> I love the name. That'll take an hour and eight minutes should be longer. Your Sims calls Les Clues after clarifying that a frost capacitor was not in any way involved in a crime. Les says he'll meet your Sim in the park to discuss the case. Talk to Les Clues in the park about the missing part. 3 hours and 45 minutes talk. At this point you would have completed the 12th day and received the rustic furniture pack which is fabulous. Done! Your sim describes the missing frost capacitor part to Les Clues. You mean this? Les says, handing over the final part. How did Les do that? Have your sim asked Les how he found the missing part so quickly? Where is the sleigh? Santa suspects foul play. Your sim knows the list of parts grows. Les can help if he's not led astray. Talk five minutes. Uh huh. Your sim is incredulous. How did Les find the part so quickly? Easy, Les says. I put a request up on SimList. Your sim is not sure that a detective was required at all. Have your sim install the final part of the frost capacitor in the sleigh. 30 minutes job. We better get this working. Come on, sleigh. Your sim installs the final part of the frost capacitor. Problem is the frost capacitor still needs to be charged with magical ice. The Ice Queen! From a phone, have your sim call the Ice Queen. <laughs> Three hours and ten minutes. She better be there. <laughs> your sim calls the Ice Queen, begging her to charge the sleigh's frost capacitor. They tell her that it's urgent as Christmas is coming fast. I'll be in the park, the Ice Queen replies. In the park, have your sim ask the Ice Queen to charge the frost capacitor. Two hours and 15 minutes. She's gorgeous, isn't she? With the return of winter weather, the Ice Queen says it will be no problem for her to recharge the frost capacitor. She channels her energy, fully charging the sleigh. With Christmas days away, there is no time to lose. Have your sim fly the sleigh back to Santa's workshop. Yay, let's ride this thing. <laughs> We're here. Your sim races to the North Pole in Santa's sleigh. Christmas is tomorrow, so why is the workshop so quiet? Dave is the only elf around. Have your sim talk to Dave. 30 minutes. I hope nothing else is wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Your sim talks to Dave, who explains that your sim just missed Santa. He left an invitation for your sim to attend a pre-flight feast as a thank you. And everyone is waiting. Dave says all sims need to skedaddle. I gotta shut down the workshop for the boss. Have all your sims leave Santa's workshop. Hmm, this sounds good. Bye. Come on, everyone. Let's go. 
Santa's workshop has been shut down for the year, and what an honor to be invited to Santa's pre-flight feast. Better look the part. Have your sim change their clothes in a wardrobe for Santa's pre-flight feast. All you've got to do is just click on a wardrobe and browse the clothes. You don't even need to change or anything like that. And then you just pop back out and it's done. Your sim changes clothes. Now that feels truly festive. Better not keep the man in red waiting any longer. Go to the park and ride Rudolph to Santa's farmhouse. Let's go. Thank you, Rudolph. You've been a great help. <laughs> Your sim arrives at Santa's farmhouse and can smell the aroma of the feast wafting from the backyard. Everyone is waiting after fixing a crashed sleigh, digging for coal and curling an elf's electrophobia. It's time to relax. Have six sims join Santa's feast at Santa's farmhouse. Ooh. 11 hours actually it's 12 hours you can see that it's given 11 hours and something and as i say it's for a sim that was born of a nine day pregnancy they get to just complete the tasks a lot quicker and i've said it on and on and on and on <laughs> but yes just in case you're wondering but this is fantastic and everyone's gonna have a lovely banquet here and enjoy a good meal mm Hmm. well this is nice really lovely go on sit down everyone you all deserve to sit down and eat some good food and enjoy some fine wine. It's been quite a trip. Your sim joins the Christmas table and enjoys a delicious feast. Everyone is truly grateful for your sim's help. If it wasn't for them, Mrs. Claus would still be sick with her fever and Christmas would have had no presents or coal. Have your sim say farewell to Santa and Mrs. Claus. Hmm. Four hours and 15 minutes. Oh, and then, well, all three of them together are sort of engaged. This is nice. This could be an animation of some sort where you can have three people in a conversation. That would be fantastic. Sims Free Play is just getting better and better. Ooh! <laughs> Your sim says their farewells to the clauses who have teared up and can't believe your sim went above and beyond anyone's expectations. Now it's time for your sim to head home and wait to see what surprises Santa has in store for them on Christmas morning. Send all sims at Santa's farmhouse home. Oh, I think this is it. It's the grand finale. Everyone, go on, shoot. <laughs> Before something goes wrong, just go. <laughs> Oh my word, this was quite a trip. It was. Congratulations! Yes, by going above and beyond, we have unlocked the beautiful rustic farmhouse and A-frame roofing. Don't forget to check the description down below in the video and click on the link to see the video on the full tour of this beautiful rustic farmhouse. Thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!